Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 10th, okay? Now, this is my third one. I already did one. The first one was fantastic, but unfortunately, my bra strap was way down here, so, you know, I guess I'll just keep that one to myself. Anyhow, uh, we're going to see what comes up for around the 10th. Um, what I did see was the birth of a new life, and we had the King and Queen of Pentacles, which is a perfect match. Is two people that have shared values that are coming together. Uh, and then we have the Empress, which is the birth of a new life. Um, we have the Ace of Wands, which is an exciting new start, fresh start. Um, but let's see what these cards have to say. What do we have for a message today? What do we have for a message? Sudden arrival. I feel like we have a sudden arrival here. Um, somebody making an approach. This is somebody that is taking action. Right now, they're taking action. Uh, we had that. We had the Knight of Swords. I mean, the Knight of Wands, and the other one as well. Uh, Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups. So this is about love and happiness, which I knew that it was. So we have a new start in love here. Things getting better. This is a, a flood of emotion. Somebody following their intuition. This is a spiritual blessing. It's happiness. It's extreme happiness. It's wish fulfillment. This could be falling in love, deepening a connection, or a new start in love. So it's all about love. Mm, Ten of Cups in the past, now in reverse. Ten of Cups in the past in reverse. Somebody has been in a loveless situation or a relationship where there hasn't been any love. There's, It's like a dying dream. You know, somebody has been in, where their dreams are not coming true, but there is a big, huge opportunity here. Page of Swords reverse. Somebody may be receiving a message that catches them off guard. They're going to be caught off guard. They could be caught off guard by a love connection. This is somebody may have been spying on them or watching them from behind the scenes, but the Page of Swords reversed is typically unexpected. It's unexpected news that may be a surprise. Now we have the Emperor, so we could be dealing with a uh, masculine energy. It could be an Aries, doesn't have to be. This is somebody that is putting some plans in action. This is a planner. This is somebody that is very intelligent. This is uh, taking control. Somebody is taking control. They're taking the lead. This is somebody that is a leader, that is in a position of authority, that is making a decision. This person is making a decision. Death underneath that ace of cups so death is a major life change is a profound life change it's a transformation a transition it's an ending that leads to a new beginning maybe there's an ending of a relationship it's right next to that ten of cups reversed somebody is uh transforming maybe they're transforming themselves ace of cups is uh well, it's a gift, right? It's a gift from above. It's a, it is. It's the hand of God giving somebody an opportunity for love. Um, it comes after an ending because death is an ending, okay, that leads to a new beginning. You can't deny that it is, okay? Death is death, okay? Um, somebody has obviously been in a relationship with the Ten of Cups reverse that is not forever, or is not happily ever after, could be ending. This could be the end of a relationship, Okay, the ten, the ten of Cups reversed next to the Death card. We have the end of a relationship that opens somebody's heart to a beautiful new beginning because the Ace of Cups next to the end because the de endings always lead to new beginnings. Ace of Cups is beautiful. It's it's a, it is. It's a beautiful new beginning. Okay, it, it is. It's love. It's a new start in love. Um, death, profound change, ending separation, loss that leads to a new beginning in love. Knight of Coins reversed. Now, the Knight of Coins reversed is no movement. No movement. It's stopping. It's it's stop. It's it's a lack of movement. Bad news. I don't know if somebody's receiving some bad news with the Page of Swords reversed. This bad news may uh, may be what that what uh, causes some sort of movement. Ace of Cups is a flood of emotion. We have a change. 
because death is change. What is this Knight of Coins reverse? That's typically not putting in any effort to a foundation. Seven of Coins reverse. Yeah, not investing, no growing, dead end. Emperor is upright. We got somebody here that is needing to make a change. There's no growth here. Stop investing. Knight of Coins reverse is stop. Seven of Pentacles in re is about investing. Stop investing. Stop investing in this dead end. Whatever the dead end is. Death is a dead end. And the Seven of Coins reverse is a dead end. Something, somebody needs to stop or they're going to stop investing in a dead end. Page of Swords reverse. Caught off guard. Major completion of a cycle with the world card. This is the end of a chapter. It's the end of a phase. It's the end of a project. This is the major completion of, and the death card is too. We have somebody here that is, is making a decision to stop investing in something. Maybe they're something about love because the Ace of Cups is all about love. It's big love. It's, it is. Dreams, paying attention. Somebody may have been, you know, the Ten of Cups reverse is a dying dream and the Ace of Cups is about dreams. So maybe it's about time to follow your dreams. Um, a world card is a major completion of a cycle. It's the end of a project. It's the end of a phase. This is uh, leaving the past behind, moving towards the future. Learned a lesson. We have somebody here that has learned a lesson. They're ready. They're ready. They're ready. This is stepping into a new existence. There could be a change of residence, traveling to a new destination, uh, investing in something new, starting over, starting a new journey. Somebody is starting a new journey. This is the end of one, one journey and the beginning of another one. And the same with the death card. Ending that leads to a new beginning. So there's going to be a major ending here. We have, a, we have a, a boss, okay? The emperor is typically a boss or somebody that is in that position where they can be a boss, okay? This is somebody that is making a decision to stop investing in a dead end, okay? They're, 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 they're ending that chapter of their lives. They're, they're, they are. They're focusing on the future. They're leaving the past behind. It's like leaving it all behind. That's what the, that's what the world is. This is a major ending of a project or a phase, major completion. Ace of coins reverse, whoo! Oh! Three of Swords. Three of Swords is heartache, heart pain, grieving over a loss. So I don't know what's happening here, but there could be some grieving over a loss here. Somebody's suffering. They're in pain. Ace of Pentacles is a missed opportunity in reverse. The Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody has missed an opportunity or the opportunity is slipping away. I mean, you can't fight gravity. It's just about gone. The opportunity is just about gone by the looks of things. We have somebody here that is suffering. They're in some sort of heartache. They're grieving. This is grieving over a loss. Somebody, we may, we may have somebody here that's going to be grieving over a loss because it feels like, I mean, the Ace of Pentacles reverse is a lost opportunity. It's a missed opportunity. So I don't know if we're dealing, we could be dealing with an Aries. We could be dealing with a Scorpio. We could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We also have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You know, the Knight of Coins reversed is if that's is somebody that may be giving up. They're not going to be investing. They're not going to put effort into somebody that isn't communicating with them, that isn't taking any action. You know, if you're not taking any action, then it's over. I mean, that's the death card. It's over. It's over. There is a huge opportunity for love here with the Ace of Cups. There's a huge opportunity for love. Somebody may have been... Uh, 
Well, obviously, there's no reciprocation here. Somebody is, is maybe receiving a message that brings them conflict about, uh, feels like there's a departure because I saw that Knight of Wands, it could be an arrival or a departure. Ace of Coins reverse is a missed opportunity, a lost, op a solid opportunity that is slipping away because of lack of event investment. So somebody needs to make a choice, make a decision before it's gone because it's just about gone, but it's just almost gone. Take a look at that. I mean, it's just about, the opportunity is just about gone. So I do feel like we have somebody here that needs to make a change. That death card is a change. Maybe they need to open their heart or something about heart here. Ace Pentacles reversed is unplanned loss. There's going to be an unplanned loss of some sort. This is not good news. Page of Swords reversed. It's not good news. May have some, I don't know what this is, but... Seven of coins reversed, no growth, dissatisfied, unrealistic. This is unrealistic. It's not practical. Knight of coins reversed. Somebody's not putting in effort. They're not they're not putting in any effort. This is somebody that is not investing. They're not investing in something and they're losing the opportunity. If you don't take care of it while you have it, you're going to lose it. Somebody is losing something. It looks like it's a big opportunity for love to me. There's a need for change with that death card underneath it. Somebody needs to, needs to take action. They need to make a decision. Page of Cups reversed. Page of Cups reversed is not good news either. It's sad. It's unrequited love. It's it's a, a bubble burst. It's a rejection. We got somebody here that is is not expressing their feelings. There's sadness here. There is some sort of sadness here. We got somebody here that needs to open their heart. They need. They, we may have somebody here that literally has their heart set on an individual that is emotionally unavailable. You know, this person's emotionally unavailable. Perhaps it's time for you to broaden your horizons and go down a new path. Uh, find your focus, find your discipline, uh, start over, you know, uh, broaden your horizons. Uh, there's probably a new prospect here. You know, give that opportunity a chance. Go down that path. If this person isn't expressing their feelings, if they've rejected you or whatever the case is, perhaps it's time to refocus, set new goals, start over, go down a new path. Uh, Page of Cups reversed. That is a bubble burst. It's like... You need to stop investing in a one-sided situation where there's no love. Anyhow, go after what is real, what is solid, what is stable. We do have somebody here that has a real solid opportunity, but they need to focus. They need to take control of their lives. They need to make a decision, master their emotions. Maybe you got to let it go. Let it go. Let it slip away. You know, let it go. Let it go. Maybe you let it go. Ten of Swords. Oh my God. Extremely painful. This is suffering. Definitely suffering. So there is something. It is. There's pain here. There's heartache and pain. There's pain. Heart pain. There's pain. This is suffering. This is like the death of a situation. Something is coming to an end. It really is. Something is coming to an end. It's all about love. It's, it is. It's all about love. The first card out is the Ace of Cups. 
somebody is in a relationship where there is no love, there is no love, there is no contentment. They may be deciding to let it go. There is a decision that is being made. We have a profound life change up here. Something is coming to an end. Maybe it's the end of suffering. We may have somebody here that is 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 uh well this is the end of a painful situation, put it that way. We have death basically twice with the with the death card and the ten of swords. This is like the end. The end. The end. Maybe it's the end of a loveless relationship. We may have somebody here that is uh, going to be investing in something that is bigger. We do have the star card. So this is a wish being granted. Maybe somebody's been uh, wishing and hoping and praying for something more. This is a wish being granted. So, the, I mean, hey, the Ace of Cups is a new start in love. It's a new love. It is a new love. Maybe somebody has received, you know, they asked for something more and, and they have to uh, take action to grab onto that. Um, Emperor takes charge, makes a decision to stop investing in something that is not stable, it's not solid, it's not real. It doesn't appear that there's any love there. Page of Cups reverse. There's some there's some some sort of deception, you know, betrayal perhaps. I don't know what the hell is going on, but this is like dissatisfying. It's unrealistic. This is a huge loss with the Ace of Pentacles reversed. Somebody is letting something slip away that is real. Maybe it's a real opportunity for love. Maybe they got another opportunity here. This is, this is a wish being granted this is I mean a star we have a star here this is typically the star comes after the, a tower so unexpected help arriving after a tower moment okay so there's there's obviously some sort of disruption and it could be an internal disruption that you know bring some unexpected help that this is guided the stars guide they guide people out of faults or disruptive or disasters okay this is this is like if it comes after the tower somebody has experienced or they're experiencing some major upheaval or chaos or uh, disruption in their life. The star is co has come to guide somebody in a new direction towards wish fulfillment, towards happiness. This is unexpected help that probably has arrived to guide somebody. And and I and I hate to say this, but I'm gonna. It's like home or to their new home, or to their new solid, stable foundation. And I have to tell you again, and I've been saying it a lot lately, the Page of Cups is rejection in reversed. The Star card is protection. So, perhaps it's time to invest in something more fertile. Open your heart to new beginnings. Because there's a new beginning for love here. Something has died. It's over. 
it's time to invest in something new before it slips away. There is an opportunity for love here. It's big, but it will require release because the Ace of Cups is big love and underneath that is the death card. That is release. You need to stop procrastinating. Knight of Coins reversed. Stop procrastinating. We do have a major ending here. reversed, making a conscious change, dropping something. Somebody's going to be dropping something they've been holding on to. Right on top of that Ace of Pentacles reversed. Making a conscious change to drop what was has been holding them down. Somebody's about to drop something that has been holding them down, weighing them down. They're about to be free. There's freedom here. Freedom. Freedom from some sort of painful existence. Three of coins. Three of coins is teamwork, togetherness, working together with somebody else, putting in effort, learning new things, working on a new project, creating something new, learning new skills. Somebody is going to be working with somebody new. They are. After they've been in a lot of freaking pain to the end of that life starting over with that three of coins it's like working together with somebody new to create abundance because they've been in a situation where there's no growth teamwork communication cooperating making a decision to cooperate so breaking free devil reverse breaking free from a talk hell okay we talk about this breaking free from hell breaking free severing ties with a toxic codependent situation where there is no love there ain't no love there breaking free taking control taking the lead, taking charge, taking control back. Somebody is taking back their power. They are, they're taking back their power. They're about to uh, end a very painful situation. Looks like it's a relationship. There's been a lot of heartache. There's been a lot of heart pain. There's been a lot of grieving. There's been a lot of suffering. This is like, can't do it anymore and we have a lot of tens so we have three tens completion 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 ten of cups reversed ten of swords and ten of wands reversed then we had the world major completion the death card absolutely we have a major completion here breaking free from some sort of codependent situation taking charge taking control regaining power Dropping this, dropping it, dropping it, letting it go. It's unrealistic. It's dissatisfying. 